Hello everybody. Today I want to go over this little window in the bottom left of 3D Max. This is uh, your listener window. When you open it up, it says Max Script Listener. So this has a lot of uses for using 3D Max. What you'll need to do is enable right here your macro recorder so that you can actually see what's going on. So you can drag a box, you can see all the parameters are copied. We're going to do a different variations of the box. So as you can see, you have your length and your width and your height. If I need every box to be the same height as this one box right here, you can see that we can copy that and paste it down here and apply it to all these other ones. Just like these. Just enter. Instantly applies to everything else. So without using any, any scripts that you have to download and everything else, you can do it in under the hood within Max to do this. And it helps out on a few other things. So anything with the parameter, if you were to type in 20, you can copy this to everything else. So, so turn off the wireframe. We can copy that parameter here and paste it down here and apply it to anything else. This will speed up your workflow in the end not having to select each one and changing them this way and type in in each one so as you can see back one click is a little bit faster than going to like 20 or 50 objects this will apply to other primitives if you do another primitive and it has the same parameter in it, so say for instance, we have um, cylinders. These cylinders have a height. The box has a height. So we can select that too. So this was that height and we can copy it, put it right here. And each one has instantly have it applied, the parameters. So this is pretty neat. This helps out in other little things and speeds up your workflow and gets you kind of going uh, a little bit quicker on certain items. So if you're curious about the Max Script Listener, it's good to have it open. It'll always be there. You can record stuff. You can see what it does. Other parameters, same thing. You can see what they do. And if you adjust them, it'll list it in there. And you can actually apply settings into other objects and speed up your workflow i hope this i hope this video helps you and was informative it's a short video but it's something that i always find useful whenever i'm trying to apply it to other primitives using the max script listener thanks for watching